Hello, this is Jeremy with Math Boot Camps, and I'm going to show you a couple of examples of using the power rule to take the derivative of functions with simple roots. So we're not doing anything with the chain rule or anything more complicated than just square root or cube root of just x. Now, I have this first function right up here, 5 on the cube root of x. And the first step I'm going to do is just algebra, no calculus whatsoever. I'm going to rewrite this as a power. This is actually equal to 5x to the 1 third power. So I'm saying the derivative of both of these things will be the same because they are the same thing. Now I'm going to actually take the derivative, and this is where I, where I apply the power rule. So I bring down the 1 third, and then I subtract 1 off the 1 third. So I have 5 times 1 third, x to the 1 third minus 1. This is the only step that's actually calculus. So I went from prime to no prime because I did calculus now. Everything left is algebra. i got to multiply the 5 times the 1 third, and i got to clean up this exponent on the x. So I end up with 5 thirds x, and then 1 third minus 1 is negative 2 thirds. Now since that's a negative exponent, that x to the minus 2 thirds is actually equal to 1 over x to the 2 thirds power. Now it's positive. And then I could leave the answer as this, but usually people will go ahead and multiply these two fractions, and so this is the same as 5 over 3 x to the 2 thirds. Now notice one other thing. I could have written the x to the 2 thirds as a root. Either way is fine. It's pretty common to leave it as a fractional exponent, and uh, that's maybe something you want to talk to your professor about or your instructor. All right, let's take a look at another one. This time I've put the root into a fraction, and this time I put in the denominator of a fraction. But again, the same rule applies. That's an x to the 1 half power. And in fact, I want to bring that out of the denominator so it's not going to be just x to the 1 half, it's x to the minus 1 half. And the negative is on there because it was in the denominator of the fraction. Okay, again, that first step's algebra. Now I'm going to do the calculus step. I'm going to bring down the minus 1 half and subtract 1 off the minus 1 half. Okay, that was calculus. Next step's algebra. Everything else is algebra. Multiply the two fractions, I get negative 3 eighths. Minus 1 half minus 1 is minus 3 halves. Since that exponent is negative, that's the same as 1 over x to the 3 halves. And now just as before, I can go ahead and multiply this out, and I can write it as minus 3 over 8x to the 3 halves power. So again, there's one step that's actually calculus here. Everything else is your knowledge of exponents and algebra. And that's kind of a theme throughout calculus. So again, my three steps for handling these roots. Rewrite using an exponent. That should be the first thing you try to do apply the power rule, and then you're going to simplify using algebra.